Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're taking a look at some of the things you can do with Microsoft's Copilot AI Assistant in Outlook. In this video, we'll cover everything from summarizing emails to having Copilot schedule meetings for you right from your inbox. If this sounds useful to you, stick around and let's get started. Before we start and to establish some context, I am using a personal Microsoft 365 subscription as well as a subscription to the Copilot Pro product, which is a $20 a month and basically gives you access to Copilot in different 365 applications. Regarding Outlook, I am using the older version of Outlook, but all the features discussed in this video will of course also be available in the new version if that is what you're using. With that said, let's move on and look at our first feature, which is the summarize functionality. So imagine you've been away from your desk and come back to an email thread with multiple replies. Instead of scrolling through and reading each one, you can use Copilot to quickly summarize the key points. Just click the summarize button on the top right and Copilot will provide you a concise summary highlighting the most important parts of the conversation. This way, you're always up to date without wasting time. You can also see that Copilot references in which email each bullet point came from. So for example, I see here that Jason proposed scheduling a call for Monday morning and the other user confirmed the call for Monday at 10 a.m. Central Time. If I want to see the emails where that came from, I can click here the number six or number seven. Obviously seven would be the latest email. So I can click on that and that will open up that specific email. If I need to reference something else, so for example, bullet point number two, I can click here on the number two right next to it and it'll open up that specific email where the information was extracted from. This way, you know exactly where Copilot is pulling um, each summary or bullet point from and you're making sure it's not creating anything new or imaginary. I find this particularly useful if you're someone that gets CC'd in a lot of emails where you don't necessarily need to be aware of every detail, but just need to have the general context of the topic being discussed. Then you can use this option to manage your inbox more efficiently. This for me is the most impact impactful and useful feature, at least as of now, that Copilot has to offer in relation to Outlook. But let's keep going and see what other things we can do. Now let's talk about coaching by Copilot. This feature is like having a personal writing assistant. When you draft an email, Copilot provides real-time feedback on tone, sentiment, and clarity. For example, I have here an email that I've drafted telling everybody that there will be a town hall this upcoming Friday, September 6th in the auditorium and to make sure they arrive five minutes before so that we can start on time. If I click here on the Copilot button, click on coaching by Copilot, Copilot will analyze this email and it will give me certain points on the tone, reader sentiment and clarity. So friendly yet professional tone, it's saying that my email is friendly but yet professional and it's recommending to start with things like hi everyone or hello team to create a friendlier atmosphere. It's also suggesting to add a sentence expressing enthusiasm for the upcoming event such as I'm looking forward to seeing you all there and to conclude with a personal sign off like best regards or thanks followed by my name. So as you can see, it did a very well, um, a very good job um, providing some suggestions to make this email a little friendlier yet keeping it very professional. I particularly like the suggestion to add this sentence at the end of I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. Um, and that way I can make or write better emails with this suggestion. So another use case for Copilot in Outlook is the draft with Copilot. So we all know that um, generative AI models can generate text. So as expected, if you're creating a new email, you can use Copilot to you know, tell it what email you want to uh, draft and it'll help you come up with options. But what's cool about this feature is that you can actually use it to reply a specific email thread so let's say I am reading this email thread or I've just finished summarizing it with Copilot and I want to reply to it I'm gonna click here on reply all and I'm gonna use the Copilot um, draft with Copilot functionality and I'm gonna say please mention to other users to add a slide 
on the support schema to the deck. So I'm giving it very little context. I'm expecting Copilot to use the context found in this email thread to generate a suggestion. I'm gonna say keep and let's see what it came up with. So I wanted to mention that it would be beneficial to include a slide on the support schema in the deck. This will help to provide a clear understanding of the support process during the presentation. Would you please add this slide to the deck when you have a chance? Okay. So I've seen it before where if it notices that a meeting was scheduled for Monday, it'll say, please make sure to mention this on Monday or whatever. In this case, it did not do so. But I mean, it gave a at least a base or a good suggestion um, of what to use as a reply to this email thread. So unfortunately, the next two features that I'm going to show you are only available for Microsoft business or work accounts. So I am using a personal account, so I won't be able to show these features to you live, but we can discuss and go through them so that you are at least aware of if you have that type of account of what you can use now in Outlook with Copilot. So one of these features is the chat with Copilot. And here you can use this feature to have real-time conversations with Copilot for additional support. You can chat with Copilot about organizational information and even get help with web-based queries. The chat window will open up beside your existing Outlook window so you can multitask efficiently. To open it up, you will simply click the Copilot icon from the navigation header. You should see it. If I open up Outlook, you should see the Copilot uh, icon here on the left side where you can open it up and you can chat with Copilot directly. But again, this option is only available for businesses with Copilot for Microsoft 365 subscription. So the last feature that I want to discuss is the schedule with Copilot functionality. And this lets you create a meeting invitation directly from an email thread. So say you have an ongoing email discussion that needs a follow-up meeting, Copilot will make this super easy by having here a button or at the top of your Outlook called Schedule with Copilot. And once you click or press on this button, it will automatically create a meeting invitation. The meeting title, agenda, and attendees are all drafted based on the email content. And of course, you can review it, make any adjustments, and send it out in all in a few clicks. Again, I apologize as this is only available for Microsoft uh, work or business licenses. And I am using a personal license, so I won't be able to show you this feature. But please do let me know if you are or have used this um, already and how it's working for you in the comments down below. So there you have it. These are the use cases or functionalities that are available in Microsoft Outlook related to the Copilot AI product from Microsoft. Um, Outlook is probably not the best application uh, to use Copilot with, at least not at the moment. The functionalities that um, are, have been released for it, in my case, are not very useful, except for that summarize um, button that we saw at the very beginning. But I still wanted to make a video on it because I know all of us or a lot of us use Outlook uh, and we are excited to introduce some type of AI uh, functionality to this application. I will make similar videos on Copilot for Excel, Copilot for Word, and Copilot for uh, PowerPoint. So if you are interested in those, please subscribe and stay tuned to the channel. Um, leave your comments down below. Leave your experiences with Copilot down below. I'd love to chat about it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.